We will continue to study ecosystems this week. Remember, an ecosystem is made up of all of the living and non-living things in an area. This includes all of the plants, animals, and other living things that make up the communities of life in an area. An ecosystem also includes non-living materials, for example, water, rocks, soil, and sand. A swamp, a prairie, an ocean, and a forest are examples of ecosystems. An ecosystem usually contains many different kinds of life. A grassland, for example, is an ecosystem that contains more than just grass. It includes other plants, mammals, insects, earthworms, and many tiny living things in the soil. The second Wyoming ecosystem you will learn about is the mountain ecosystem. A mountain ecosystem is a piece of land that is very high and has steep sides. It is an unusual ecosystem because it contains many other ecosystems within it. These include forests, meadows, lakes, streams, and valleys. Some mountain wildlife live in even the coldest areas where you can find snow year-round. Many plants and animals can be found in this ecosystem. Mammals like bighorn sheep, mountain lions, elk, and chipmunks live there. Birds like ravens, mountain bluebirds, golden eagles, and mountain chickadees can also be found in this ecosystem. Plants in the mountain ecosystem include white bark pine, glacier lily, Wyoming paintbrush, and subalpine fir. Mountain fritillary and boreal toads are other animals that can be found here. Plants use the sun's energy to grow through a process known as photosynthesis. Since plants are the beginning of all food chains, the sun's effect is seen in all parts of life on Earth. <laughs>